Hello everyone, this is Sojun Kim, and today we are going to learn about simulation and its application, particularly definition of simulation as a first start. Okay? As you know, I'm going to cite the, the reference, especially textbook called the Simulation with Arena, and which utilizes Arena software, obviously. And actually, Arena is a very old simulation software. I mean, it's not old, but it released like uh, 20 or 30 years ago. However, it's so far, it's, all, uh, it's been very popular because uh, it's, uh, it gives us a reliable, statistically reliable result. And you can do the, the additional analysis, for example, simulation-based optimization or design of experiment and so on. Although there are another software, uh, there are so many new simulation softwares out there, but as a start, I mean, it's better to understand the, the key software first, and then if you need uh, more other software or functions offered by other software, and then you can learn about the new stuff, right? So anyway, so this time I will anyway the I will talk the, how to use uh, Arena basically, and then based on that I will give you the the several concept about the simulation. You got it? Okay. Right. So let's talk about the simulation definition of simulation. So simulation is a method to mimic real systems under virtual environment such as computer. And I think you guys already have heard about the virtual reality also known as VR or AR, augmented reality, and so on, right? And then nowadays people use not only computer, a mobile phone, or you can also use um, other devices as well. Even when you play the game, yes, you can do the virtual reality stuff, right? So simulation is not really new thing to you, I guess. If you, if you, at least, I guess you already have, you have played the game, right? Any game using mobile phone or computer right so once you have experience to play the game then definitely you know you have seen the simulation model okay and definitely nowadays because of the computing power enhancement and uh, simulation methodology is very popular okay in many fields and industries so for example if you look at this slide and then here is a plant simulation okay example of this plant simulation and then another one is a um, gas station service systems okay the simulation model developed for the management of the service system such as a gas station simulation okay gas station i mean okay so although these two models the developed by other simulation software but basically it's not really different from the arena and so that's why I'm going to teach you the, how to use Arena, as I mentioned before, and then you will learn about the concept of the simulation in this class very well. Got it? And then if you have, if I have any chance or additional time, and then definitely I will teach the another software called Analogic, which is another really popular simulation software recently. So that's why. Okay. And that's uh. So that's how I manage the, this. A class. Got it. Okay, let's look at the simulation, definition of simulation in textbooks. Uh, yes, one way of model model based approaches and also is a broad collection of method and application to mimic the behavior behavior of real systems. And third one, method for studying a wide variety of the models. Uh, of real world systems by numerical evaluation using software designed to imitate the system and operation characteristics open over time. So basically, when you use a simulation, you can actually run the simulation model to predict something, okay? To predict the performance of the system, which is not exist in the real world, something like that, okay? Or the under the assumption, run the simulation model to evaluate your assumption as well. So in order to do that, definitely you need to have very realistic simulation model, which can mimic the characteristics or operations of real system. Okay, I will mention about the, the definition of model as well in the in the following slide. But yes, so there are so many ways to define the simulation, but basically it is a model-based approach, 
uh, which will which can easily mimic the behavior of real system so that we can by we can use a simulation model to predict the performance or evaluate the, the performance of the system good yes right so when simulations are used you may wonder why we need to learn about simulation modeling right so basically let's look at the the, the characteristics of the system first okay usually system is what system is problems okay system is a combination of the multiple processes or facilities it can be actual or planned right uh, manufacturing systems can be the one right and then protocols for the communications network can be the system as well and transportation system right and you use the public transportation all the time right like a bus subway and so on and service organization also can be the system i mean i mean hospitals or the cell centers and so on so, so systems are everywhere as you know and then we are we are our major is what industrial and systems engineering right so we are dealing with the systems all the time mm -hmm. so let's look at the example of systems particularly mcdonald okay and then uh or burger king mcdonald and so on okay let's let's think about the, the fast food restaurant such as McDonald's and usually if you look at the uh, fast food restaurant it includes three major components the first one is server and the second one is a customer right and the last one is what waiting time no waiting line sorry so it has a three comp components mm -hmm. and usually yes system includes uh, the three items particularly service system right and based on these three components you may wonder what is the best okay configuration in terms of the performance mm -hmm. and you may wonder so let's look at two different strategies one is a car junior strategy another one is an airport strategy so there are these two systems use a different policy to make a waiting line okay First one, I and mean, Carl's Jr. strategy basically has a three separate waiting line for three different servers. Okay, and however, airport strategy is what? There is only one single, okay, only one waiting line for these three servers. Okay, and we don't know which one is better, basically. And then, so before we implement a certain strategy, Yes, we want to evaluate the performance of these two different strategies. Okay, so that's why I mean that's why you can actually the actually use the simulation, mm -hmm. and but you can do so in order to evaluate these two strategies. Yes, first thing is that you can actually the play with the actual system. Mm -hmm. with the actual system uh, and good thing is that if you play with the actual system and then definitely you will get the right answer mm -hmm. however uh, however there is an issue basically uh, if you don't have the restaurant right now then maybe you cannot play you cannot play with the actual system because you don't have one right so that's why also Playing with the actual system would be disruptive, expensive, or dangerous. So thinking about the running the, the best food restaurant, okay, under these two to evaluate these two strategies. Cost junior strategies and then strategy and then airport strategy. Got it? So to evaluate these two, you need to run the actual restaurant, right? Under the one of the policy strategy right for maybe one month two month three month right and then it turns out i mean you fail one of the strategies failed failed and then it resulted in missing so many customers and then you will get what your benefit or profit will be decreased significantly 
and then it is already happened to you. So you need uh, you need to spend more money or spend more time to recover that than the previous customer number, number of customers. Okay, so basically playing with the actual system is so dangerous and risky. So that's why people want to play with the mobile. Mm -hmm. So modeling or model a method are the method to study systems. So people always, and especially engineers, always want to play with models. Okay. And model is what? Model model is a set of assumptions and approximations about the, how the system works. Mm -hmm. And then study this model instead of the real system is very beneficial to you or engineer. Why? Because it's a Usually playing with the model is much easier, faster, cheaper, and safer. Okay, you don't have to spend a lot of money to run the, your restaurant, I mean, under the one of the strategy, to evaluate certain strategy. Okay, you can just, uh, you can develop the mathematical model or simulation model to evaluate certain strategy, which is a lot cheaper, obviously, and then definitely easier, right? Because you can change the model or develop the model very quickly. Right, and then safer. You don't have to worry about losing your existing customer because it's a virtual world, right? It happens in virtual world, so definitely you don't have to worry about losing your actual customer. So basically, because of these benefits or advantages, basically the people, I mean, engineer, want to play with the model not an actual system. And then definitely in this class, you will learn about the one of the modeling technique called simulation. No, but only one disadvantage of the playing model or developing model or modeling itself is, uh, is uh, associated with uh, modeling, model validity because it tried to mimic the real system so it should, I mean, be, the model should be validated with the real system. Okay, validity means means that the care, uh, validity means that uh, whether uh, validity means that the model is actually really uh, mimic the real system or not. Got it. So. Here's a trade-off between a system and a model. System can be modeled with different level of detail. And let's say here's an actual system or a McDonald's or a restaurant, okay? And then there's a model, okay? However, as I mentioned before, mo model is what? Model is abstraction of the system, basically, right? The model is a, should be a, a way simpler than the actual system. Mm -hmm. But you can actually, the, you can use different modeling techniques to mimic the real system or the, to implement the realistic system, right? More accurately, right? Mimic the real system accurately, right? So if you increase the, the accuracy of the model, basically you will spend more time and then more money to develop the model. <laughs> Interesting, right? And then, uh, if you and then based on the existing system, if you want to make a really simple model, yes, you can make a simple model with cheap cost, but uh, you will have a very low resolution or accuracy. So your result may may not be accurate. In other words, uh, meaningless. So you need to be very careful about the developing the model. When you develop the model, you need to be very careful about the modeling level, level of details, okay? Okay, so anyway, so there are so many types of model. And then under the given system, let's look at this. So here's a system. And then usually when you have a system, and as I mentioned before, you can play with this system. Right, experiment with the actual system to evaluate a certain policy or strategy, operation strategy, and so on. Or you can do the experiment with the model of the system. 
right? In this case, definitely you need to develop a model, right? Which can mimic the characteristics of this system. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there are two categories in this modeling. One is a physical model, another one is a mathematical model. Okay, physical model is what? Um, the replica of the, the actual system. But I will explain this one with the next slide. But anyway, so, so another one is a mathematical model, which is based on the equation, right? So let's look at the definition of physical model as well as a mathematical model. Alrighty, this so is a physical model. Physical model is what? It's a replica or small scale of the system. Make sense? So, it is, these are the tabletop models of material handling systems with exactly the same mechanism but different scale. So, scale of both a small one. Okay? So, for example, physical flight simulator. Okay? Uh, Basically, this is a good example. I mean, a good example of the physical model models is a fly, a physical flight simulator. Uh, are the physical flight simulator? So, combination of physical and computer simulation models. Basically, I think that you have experience to watch the simulation to train the pilot, right? If you don't remember it, I have another example. So, basically, uh. This is my simulator. I mean, I use this driving simulator uh, at the Federal Highway Administration in US. I mean, for my research. So basically, if you look at it, mm -hmm. so all view actually is projected by this projector. Okay, front view, even rear view using side mirror, and then basically, and then these view actually developed by the game engine or three D model, three D engine. And then in this car, I mean, you can look at this car, right? So in this car, under this car, there are six degree mo motion motors. So basically drivers can cha change the directions and then also the can accelerate, can decelerate. And based on that, based on the control of the driver, and then this scene will be changing. I think you have seen this kind of thing, right? When you go to the, in, in the movie or the um, amusement park and so on, right? So this one is known as a simulator, not a simulation model, okay? So basically, this is what? This is a physical model, okay? Yeah, by the way, so I use the simulation for my research uh, to understand the behavior of drivers and so especially the on the highway uh so basically so using these simulations and then basically the, i successfully complete my research and then if i have chance later and then i will have a time to explain my research using this simulation simulator later okay now let's talk about the mathematical model another model okay and based on the equation and this mathematical model actually includes two types. One is an analytical model, another one is a simulation model. And then let's look at the first type for okay. And then analytical model is a, you can just think this one as a just mathematical function to measure the performance of system. And good example is of this type is a queuing theory or queuing model. Uh, I think you may heard about MM and queuing model. Right, when you run about the operations research, right? So usually MMO model is what? So arrival rate following the exponential distribution and the service rate, service time following the disp exponential distribution, right? And then one means what? There's one server, right? So this is queuing model, so you can easily calculate the waiting time, right? Or service time of the system if service rate and then the service time following the exponential distribution, right? Arrival, yes, yeah, sorry, arrival rate following the Poisson distribution, right? So, <laughs> and the interval time between the arrival will follow the exponential distribution, sorry. So anyway, so this kind of model, if you have this kind of simple equation model, and then therefore you can 
easily calculate the performance or estimate the performance of the system. Right? Not only easily, quickly as well. Yes. So limitation of the, this kind of mathematical approach is what? Uh, it's too simple. So it cannot capture the, the detailed interactions between the component. Mm -hmm. But still, it's a, it has a benefit, right? You can easily and quickly estimate the, the, the value, right? If you know the parameter of the value of the mu and or lambda over here, and definitely you can calculate the, easily calculate the waiting time or service time in the system. So that's why the mathematical model is very popular and so far in future as well. So and then I guess until until now I mean you may you mainly learn about the mathematical functions right to develop this uh, analyt analytical model. However, at this time we will learn about the simulation model and then let's look at the benefit. So simulation modeling is a model. So simulation is a modeling tool with the highest fidelity, the accuracy, and it can mimic the, all the details of the interaction or characteristics of the system. If you wish, if you want, you can actually develop a really high, highly accurate model. And it can model very compl complicated system, obviously. And it is costly. It's not cheap. It's costly than analytical models, since we need to run the simulation model in the computer for a certain amount of time. It may, sometimes it takes several days as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's not cheap. But it's cheaper than playing with the real system. Got it? So if a system to, to be studied have the following characteristics, we need a simulation. What kind of characteristics? Dynamic, complex, uncertain. Okay? So if you have uh, the large-scale system or the manufacturing system, if you want to learn about, analyze the performance of the hospital, including more than thousands of doctors and so on. And definitely you need to use a simulation model instead of the analytical model, right? Because it has complexity. It has a dynamic, right? It has uncertain behavior of human, right? So that's why. All right, so, so far, I just uh, briefly explained the multiple types of the model. Uh, so hopefully you understand why we are dealing with the simulation modeling in this class, okay? Once again, physical model, flight simulator or driving simulator, mathematical model, yes, equations, right? And then analytical solution is also, and then simulation, both are included in this mathematical model. So analytical model is what? Modeling of the simple system and simulation model is, is used to model the complex system. Now let's talk about difference between statistic and dynamic model. Yes, uh, the difference actually the between the statistic and dynamic model is determined based on the time. Okay, the time if time is played very significant role, and then we call it dynamic. Otherwise, it can be stat static model. So, for example, if we have experiment to prove the half probability of the coin hat, and then that will be about 0.5, right? I mean, 50%, right? Is the, so the probability value is already determined based on the shape of the coin. And then, and also that shape is not changes over time, as you know. So that's a static. However, dynamic, in dynamic system and the value or dynamic model, the value changes over time, as you know. So in simulation, because we run the simulation model for a long time or the, for a certain amount of time in future, so basically we are we want to we hope that we can deal with the performance, uh, deal with the dynamic system via simulation. Okay, so also there is a difference between continuous and discrete system. So continuous, as you know, the continuous is the status state of the system changes continuously over time, such as boiling water or temperature, weather, as you know. However, 
discrete, the in discrete system, the change occurs only at a separate point or certain point in the, in time, such as a part arrival and part finishing. So if you think about the manufacturing system, and then as you know, the part is alive or delivered by the truck as as a certain time, right? And if you go, if you think about the, your schedule to go to school, and then basically the you have to come here around the what time, right? Oh. So the so specific time. So that's why I mean the the older event or the main the major event is happened at 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 a certain point. Okay, in discrete system. So that's a difference between continuous discrete. I mean continuous in continuous system again the the all changes or the certain change always uh, happen over the time over time right so our question is that whether we so you may want to know whether you can actually develop the continuous model using the discrete system or develop the discrete model using the continuous model basically that's a matter of the modeling technique so basically you can do both yes okay and if you look at the computer system or the other continuous system even if you look at the differential equation I mean the, the although we assume that it is a continuous space but technically is a discrete as you know with a very small time step right so if you adjust the time step larger and larger and then obviously it becomes discrete or if you use a very small time step and then it will be the continuous so basically they are same in computer in computer or virtual world right digital world so that's why there is no difference between the continuous and discrete in computing system because all the continuous value are already digitized, right? But conceptually, continuous and discrete event are different, right? As I mentioned earlier. And the last one is deterministic and stochastic. And deterministic, what? Stochastic model have a randomness. That means stochastic, right? And deterministic does not have a randomness, right? So both, both characteristic, characteristics actually determined by the randomness associated with a certain system. The source of randomness can be what? Is the arrival time interval between the part or customers, right? So for example, if arrival time interval following the exponential distribution with the mean of the 10, and then it can be stochastic, and service time as well can follow the exponential distribution with the mean of nine, right, minute. So then, you know, as you can see, since exponential distribution has this kind of shape, so basically you can deal with the stochastic process. Otherwise, determinants. If there is no randomness, in other words, in other words, if arrival time interval is ten minutes, exact ten minutes, every ten minutes, if there is a customer coming, and definitely that that's what you call deterministic system. Deterministic system. Okay. All right, so in this class, as I mentioned earlier, we will use arena simulation software and also analog simulation software if we have time. And you can download the arena simulation software from this website and then analog simulation software from this website. And if you have any question, feel free to let me know and then I will post uh, the solutions or the additional instruction for you. Thank you.